Welcome to the prayer closet with Summer White, and it is late again, so it looks like, I've been busy during the daytime here lately, that when everyone goes to sleep at night, which you can hear my puppy snoring right now, that this is the best time it seems like to do my video. So, um, so this is the second thrift haul that I told you about on the last video. Um, I had went twice, and um, so I did the last one the last time I went thrifting. And then this other stuff I had done before that and it had just been sitting there. So I hadn't had a chance to do anything with it because um, we went through Thanksgiving and just different holiday things and vacation stuff that was going on. So anyway, um, so this is the second one and I'm going to show it to you now and um, just kind of encourage you to check out your thrift shops and it doesn't matter if it's a, I go to the Goodwill a lot, but it doesn't matter if it's a Goodwill, it doesn't matter what it is, um, just check them out because you can find some really cool stuff there. You're saving um, things from being taken to the landfills because um, you're, you know, there are a lot of those things in thrift shops and Goodwills are still very usable and very, I mean, I get stuff that it's rare if I come home with something with a spot on it. Every now and then I do. I try to check that before I leave, but it is rare. I find really good stuff all the time with no spots, no rips. Um, just really good stuff and really cool stuff because there's such a different variety so just encourage you to just check out your thrift shops even pawn shops check out pawn shops it's fun it's fun to go look at all the different stuff maybe some things that you remember from the past um, and then it's fun just to go look at new stuff and when you go to a thrift shop or a Goodwill it is at such a low cost that you can buy the things you like and want um, but I am very, very thankful for the people who do go to the department stores and buy the good stuff to donate to the Goodwill for me and other people who want to go shop. So anyways, I am thankful for those people, but I just encourage you to go check out some of your thrift, local thrift stores and um, Goodwills and things and just see what you can find. See what's cool that you can put together and um, make work for you and find out what style you like. There's so many different choices that... Um, I mean, there's so many different styles that come out of it. It's just awesome. So find out what works best for you and and just have, you know, a fun time looking at stuff. So that's kind of what this video is about. Just to, just to show you, you know, when you go to the Goodwill and look how fun it is and the cool things you can find. And um, I honestly could spend like every day like that. <laughs> so I have to be careful not to. But... Anyway, let's get started with this first one. So this one is called Corette. Um, it's a size extra large. It is oversized for me. Um, I don't really wear an extra large, but I do shop in the larger sizes because I can roll the sleeves up, which is kind of in style now. So if you roll the sleeves, and you just roll them twice, okay? Um, show you here. So if you roll the sleeve, just roll it twice like this, and you wear it unbuttoned and you put a top under it, it's really cute. It makes a cute cardigan. It's okay if it's oversized. But I picked this one up because I love, look at the colored buttons. So there's a, like a different colored button going all the way down it. And then this beautiful crocheted pattern. You see all the little, the different colors. Um, I'll have to wear like a shirt under it because it is open in the front. But I just love this crochet pattern and those big colorful buttons. That's what got my attention on this one. So I was really excited about it and I just think it's a really beautiful top. Um, okay, these, I think I'm going to try and wear them together. I don't know. I haven't tried on these pants. But these are called By Et Cetera, I think. That's what it looks like right there. I don't know that brand. Um, they said size six. I did not try them on, but I thought they were really cute. So they're just kind of like this um, slick material and they've got like a pink. It's like a pink and gray and white stripe going down them. Um, let's see, they don't actually have pockets. They just look like they do in the back. But I just thought they were cute pants. So I'm gonna try, they got this wide, leg all the way down them. I'm going to try those with this like kind of hot pink turtleneck sweater top. 
because they had the pink line going down them. So I think this might look good with it. Um, but like I said, I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't know how the pants fit. But that's kind of my plan is to put these two together. And this turtleneck is Joseph A, and it's a size medium. And it's just a really pretty hot pink turtleneck. So <coughs> it's got needs to be washed. I haven't washed it. <laughs> and that one's that one's kind of stout. I need to wash them. Um, so this one, okay, I picked this up. This t-shirt is from Fields of the Woods. It's called Biblical Theme Park, and I have been there, and I thought when I was there, I wanted a t-shirt, and I didn't get to get one. So I'm walking along, looking through the t-shirts, and there is a Field of the Woods t-shirt sitting right there, just waiting on me to pick it up because I had been in one and one. It's called, it says, I climbed Ten Commandments Mountain and survived. And so if you see this, um, when, you, when you go to Fields of the Woods, it actually looks like this. So there is concrete in this exact shape. It looks like the Bible. It's got the Ten Commandments. And this right here going up through the middle is stairs. And you climb all these stairs going up to this little look off. And they and the whole park is basically that. It's like different exhibits that you walk up to, um, all based on you know the Bible and scriptures and stuff. So pretty neat. So I happened to find the T-shirt that I had wanted when I was there, and that it's been like two years, three years. I don't know. It's been it's been at least two years since I went. So I had kind of forgotten about it, and there was a T-shirt. So I was excited about it. Um, this is just a plain little yellow top, and I actually got this. It's Faded Glory, size large, and it's just plain yellow basic top, and I actually got this to wear under that sweater. So you can see how the, the yellow, that light yellow, I don't even know if you can see it on there, it's going to look underneath it, but that's what I got that to wear with, so that will be pretty. Okay, I have another sweater in which I can't go get right now because my husband's asleep and it's in the bedroom. But I had I had been matching up things the other day and I could not find anything to go under that sweater. And it was the same style as this one with like the crocheted patchwork on it, but it's black and it's got darker colors. And I couldn't find anything at all to go with that. And I mean, you would think of the all the shirts and things because I buy shirts the most that I would have something but I did not so I found this and it, it looks just like a little tie-dyed green top it is true craft size large and I'm gonna put it under that patchwork sweater and just for a pop of color I think it's gonna look really neat under there so um, that is what that one is for and then this little t-shirt it's towel bots and I like most of the Talbots patterns. I like their, they usually have some pretty cool prints. This one, this one is just a basic and it is a striped and it's medium. And I do love stripes. Like I tend to always pick up stripes, stripes and florals, but really a lot of stripes. But I liked the button detail on the shoulders of this one. So both shoulders have the button detail and it's an oversized t-shirt. So I think it's gonna be really cute as well. I have two big bags of stuff, so I'm just gonna keep it coming here. This is a plain. Now, this may seem funny to you, but if I can't find a shirt in like the women's section that I'm needing, like a basic, I will look in the men's or even the kids if I have to, to find what it is I'm looking for. I didn't have to do that this time. This was actually, it was in the wrong place. It was in the women's. But it is a kid's, it's like a boy's, um, it's just like Gildan is the brand, size large, it says size large youth. Um, but I needed a yellow shirt and this most definitely will fit me. You will never know unless the fact that I just told you, you would never know that this was a kid's shirt. But um, it is <laughs> and I'm going to wear it <laughs> um, as a basic just paired up with something. I was needing the yellow color to wear under something. So. That is what that is for, and I did that today too. I have been wanting a champion sweatshirt, and I was at the mall, and I walked by Belk, and there in the window was some champion sweatshirts. They were kids, 
and they were 50% off. So I had looked at them in the women's department and they were not that cheap. So 50% off, these were $25. And so I ended up getting one because I've been wanting one for like a long time, which is really funny because in the 90s or when I was younger, Champion was not in style. It was not cool. It was like considered a, a it's considered something you didn't want to wear. It was embarrassing. So, but now they have made a comeback and they are, which is funny how that works. They are really popular and I have been looking at them for a while um, because I do remember them from the past, but now they're in style. So um, I grabbed one and it was also a youth large, which actually was big on me. I could actually wear like a youth medium. So I think it's in boys because boys, they run a little bigger. Um, so anyway, keep that in mind when you're shopping. Like if you see something, um, check out the kids section because you can't tell the difference. They look, there's no difference in the way those sweatshirts look and the ones in the women's department. Just one costs more than the other. So I got the cheaper one. <laughs> so anyway, I was really excited about it too because I've been wanting one. Um, can't wait to wear it. Um, okay, this is Time and True, and this is the brand from Walmart I talk about all the time. I love the Time and True brand from Walmart. Walmart also used to be embarrassing when I was younger. If you were a Walmart shopper, you, your parents took you to Walmart to shop for your school clothes at the beginning of the year, every year. It was embarrassing. You got made fun of. It wasn't considered cool at that time. But now, Walmart has stepped it up, and they have some really cool stuff. So, Time and True is the brand I like from Walmart. And this is a time and true shirt size medium. It is a floral. And I got it to pair with um, one of the little jackets or blazers that I had picked up. And it is the super soft, um, it's just, it's like a, it's a jersey material, but it's just really soft. Like softer than a regular t-shirt. So I like the way it feels. And it'll be really comfortable. I've got this, I cut my bangs myself the other day because I was tired of fooling with them. So I've got this one piece that's just like twisting out and going somewhere else. But yeah, I just decided they were hanging all in my eyes and I keep fiddling with them. So I cut them off here and then I chopped a little here. And so yeah, this is what we ended up with. So that's why it's with it all over the place because I cut it myself, which is what you're not supposed to do. But I did. <laughs> um, okay, this is Allegra K. I have no idea about this brand. I've actually seen the shirt before. I used to have one in purple and it was really, really small. So I had gave it to someone else that it fit better. And I actually found the same one in white. So I was excited and I grabbed it up. It's got this cat and he's looking at a fish. Let's see if you can see it there. There it is. He's eyeballing that fish that's hanging there. And I just think this is a super cute print. I like a lot of the graphic tees. This one's got pockets on the side. So it's actually made like a dress with pockets, but I'm going to, obviously I'm going to wear it because it's short with like black jeans or something. But I just thought that was cute. I, I like a lot of the graphic tees and, and prints. I just think they're neat and they kind of stand out. Okay. This one is apartment nine size medium, and it is more of a springtime. I'm actually probably going to put it up for the spring. I just thought these, I think they're pastel colors. And they're so pretty. So there's like a coral, a yellow, a, a um, aqua. And I just, I just really love the colors on this. So, and it's also animal print, which has been really popular here lately too. So that one I think is going to be really cute for spring and summertime. But I went ahead and grabbed it up because I thought, well, it's not going to be there later. And if you don't know, the Goodwill pulls their clothes. So whatever they put out, if, if they're staying on top of things, which most of the time they are, um, every week they pull a color, they go by colors. So it's like blue, red, yellow, and green. So they'll have a sale color, but if that color doesn't sell and they run it for like a week, by that next Monday, they're gonna pull all of that color out. So if you see something you like, grab it up, because it is probably not gonna be there the following week because that's how they make space. And they don't throw stuff away. They send it, it goes to other stores, it goes to other places. Um, so it still gets used, but they just figure, well, it's been on sale for seven days, no one bought it, it's time to move it on. Um, and that's how they keep new stuff coming in because if they didn't do that, they wouldn't have room to put new stuff into their store. So just keep that in mind if you're in there and you're looking and you want 
something you think, oh, that'll be when I come back. Chances are it will not be, so grab it up right then. Um, this is Kathy Che, C-H-E, -E, I think, Kathy Che. I don't know, but it's a size medium. It is a vintage top, and it is wild. What do you think? I had actually walked by, okay, I will say sometimes they're still there. If it's something wild like this and nobody else wants it, sometimes you'll still see it. I had walked by and saw it before and when I went back it was still there and I was indecisive about the first time so I did grab it up the second time just because it's just so different. It's really bright, it's different and I just, I don't know, I like things that stand out so I will definitely stand out in this. <laughs> um, but I just thought it was cool. So. I hope you're using your imagination to kind of get an idea of what you can do with things or what you can find when you go to the Goodwill. And um, another cool thing is, is that you can buy spring, summer, winter, or fall all year long. You don't have to just stick with one thing. So you can already have a summer wardrobe picked out by the time summer gets here um, just because of the nature of, of thrift stores. You know, you, everything is available. So it's, it's not done just by seasons. Um, for the most part, now they do pull their bathing suits, but um, for the most, most part, you still find sleeveless stuff and summertime stuff. I think the shorts are a little skimpy, um, but you can still find capris and like this one right here. This one I specifically bought for the springtime. Um, I like it because it is lined. It is super thick, but yet it's a tank top. It's Susan Graver, Graver, Graver style, size medium. And it's this little floral. You can kind of see the, let's see if I can get it up here. We can see the pattern. It's textured and it's floral and it is thick. And so I'll be able to wear it and not have to wear a tank top under it because it, it will it will just serve the, its purpose alone in the summertime. I just think that's really pretty and I like that thick texture on it. So had summertime in mind when I picked out that one. This one, is not something I would normally pick up. But I think it's so funny because I'll say I don't like something one minute, but then I don't know if I just get used to seeing it or I don't know what the deal is, but I just tend to just bounce back and forth with different styles, which is why I'm so thankful that we do have thrift shops and Goodwills because it it gives me, it makes it, it's, it makes it to where I'm able to be able to do that. Whereas if I was shopping at like American Eagle or somewhere, not that their stuff isn't great, but it's so expensive that I couldn't afford to get rid of stuff and I wouldn't be able to go through recyclable clothing like I do. So anyway, I'm thankful for that. So this one is Ruby Road, size medium. And I just thought this one was super cute. And it's got a long sleeve on it, but I'm going to put it up for the spring. It's going to be a spring shirt. And I saw where this bunched side with the tie is back in as well. So I'm thinking that there are just different people in the runways, different brands bringing all different styles back because I mean, you name it, it's in style right now. I mean, I know I've said like so many things are in style, but on the runway there were suits, two piece suits, three piece suits, huge collars, ruffles, mixed matched patterns, bright colors, um, wearing all the same color, but in different shades. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. The the long coats, the long trench coats, the blazers, all that's back in style. Um, what else, what else, what else? The, bu the bunch, um, bunchy side was in style. 70s is in style. So um, getting this from the runways, and then there is a YouTuber that I watch that she copies the Gucci runway, and I love it. And it's called B. Jones Styles, if you want to look her up. But she is so cool and she puts the coolest things together and I just really really enjoy watching her videos but I've, I've picked up on the fact that she copies a lot of the Gucci runway and which is really cool and I like um, the Ralph Lauren runway as well because they did one of the episodes on that as well but anyway there's just all different kinds of styles and you can pick whichever one you like or wear them all it doesn't matter <laughs> you can wear one different style each week if you want so and, and it's you're able to do that if you go to thrift shops and goodwills because you can get all those items and stuff and put them together but i thought this was really pretty i love the colors i love that 
bunchy drawstring on this side. So that's going to be a perfect spring shirt. I'm seeing what else I can pull out of my big huge bag here. I've got all kinds of stuff down in there. Okay, this one is another vintage top. It is Susan Bristol. And yes, there are new things at the Goodwill as well, but I just like the vintage stuff, so that's why the majority of mine is vintage. But there are new things as well, lots of boutique-y things. Um, but this one is that denim look, which I love, but it also had this pretty velour. Um, and velour, if you didn't know, velour is the same thing. It's not the same thing, but it's like velvet. It looks like velvet, feels like velvet. The only difference is, is velvet is velvet, and velour is made with other stuff, like polyester, rayon, things like that. And most of the time, it is velour and, and not real velvet. But that's what this is, and then it's got the little patch there, and it's got beads, and then the collar is trimmed out in different detail. And I just thought that was really pretty. Um, so, really cute vintage top. I like it. I always tend to go for the denim stuff. Um, really like it, and it just kind of goes with everything. I found this really cool bracelet. So, it is fall right now. Kind of moving towards Christmas, but you can still kind of do the fall since we just had Thanksgiving. And it's glittery, and it has butterflies, and I just thought that was really pretty. It's this neat shape. So, I got that. And... This shirt is Liz Claiborne, size small, and it is that real kind of satiny, slick feeling. It's really, really, it just feels nice. I tried it on it, just a really good feel to it. It's got a little bit of a pleated sleeve, and it's only a half button. It's really cute, though. I just, I really like the texture of this one. I think that's the biggest reason I've got it, and the blue color. And it's got some pleats back there on the neck as well. So a little bit of cool design to that one. This sweater, I kept looking at it. I kept thinking about it, couldn't decide. It's called Roz and Ollie, size medium. And it's just like a little basic sweater, purple. But the reason why I got it, I kept thinking on it, was this cool trim that's on it. So if it would have been just solid purple, I wouldn't have bought it. But it had this navy blue trim around the neck. It's also got that trim on the sleeve and on the bottom. So I just thought that trim made it really cute, kind of made it stand out, and that's the reason why I picked that one up. And I got a little jean skirt. This is Bass Jeans, um, Bass and Company, size 10. And I'm hoping it fits because I didn't try it on. Um, so I'm wearing a six in my jeans, but some of these things like this are a 10. So it just kind of varies depending on the brand. But look how cute. Just your basic little jean skirt. It's got some pleats and some pockets right there in front. And then the back is just kind of pleated as well. And this one was long enough. It comes to my it's like right on top of my knees, and so I don't have to worry, and there's no slits in it, so I don't have to worry about it flying up or being too short or anything like that, because usually if I'm wearing a skirt or a dress, it's when I'm going to church, so um, it just it's really well if they're made without slits and not too short. <laughs> um, okay, this is an, another Tommy Hill figure, and it just looks basic. You may not even like it. But I've just really been into Tommy Hilfiger, which I just said on the last haul, and the one before that. That's kind of the brand that I am looking for. So I do pick up all kinds of other brands, as you can see. But I specifically look for Tommy Hilfiger when I go. And I was really happy because I did find a couple of pieces with both these hauls that were Tommy Hilfiger. Um, but this is Tommy Hilfiger, size small. And it is just a little green and navy blue top. It's got the little... Um, Tommy Hilfiger buttons there on the side of the sleeve and it's got the little logo down here on the bottom and just super cute got the little buttons on the shoulders as well and I love green so this just kind of checked everything off for me as far as the color and the and the brand and now we're start we're just now starting on our second bag so this was a huge thrift haul I found so many good things so this one is probably more springy. I'll probably put it up for this 
for the spring and summer because it has fish. So it had this little fish um, detail on the pocket, which I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's kind of cute, but I wasn't totally sold until I saw the buttons. Look at the buttons, they're fish. They're like little wood fish. And I thought that was so cute. So after I looked at the pocket and then I noticed the button detail, I decided, okay, I have to get this for the spring. That was really cute. Once again, denim. So I guess I pick up a lot of denim, but it works with everything. Okay, this, I had one jacket that is vintage and it's like a blue and white, it's short sleeve and it's white and it has like this blue collar and then it has like little, almost like little sailor gold buttons and I just couldn't figure out anything to wear with that thing at all and I looked and looked and looked and so I found this J. Crew size medium. It says Italian cashmere sweater like a turtleneck and I am going to put it under that jacket. So this was bought specifically for that although I may pair it with some other things as well but that is what it is going under. Um, there were just a couple jackets that I had shown in the, in, in the past thrift hauls that I couldn't find anything to wear with at all. I don't know how that's even possible but um, finally found something for those. And then this one is J. Crew, size six, and it still has the tag. So um, I was gonna say what the original price was, but it doesn't. It doesn't say. But super cute. I love the yellow and white checked pattern. Look how pretty this is, and it is new. There's the tag. So, so I always think it's really neat when you get to find new stuff that I guess somebody just bought it and then changed their mind and. And I'm so thankful for that person because they donated and I was able to get it. Okay, leather or anything that looks leather has been really in style as well. That's another one. And so I picked up this Margaret Godfrey. Let's see. Yeah, Margaret. Actually, is it God? It's God Tree. God Tree. Um, size small. And it is, it's not real leather, but it looks like leather, so no one will know. It's got leather there, leather on the back. It's got a little bit of a ribbed material on the sides, but fits perfectly. So I grabbed it up because that's been one of the things on the list. There's my, my usual train. It didn't hit the last video, but it's got this one. So if you're hearing that, I'm sorry, it's really loud, I know. And this next one is Jones New York Sport size medium. And it is just an olive green. It's kind of like a half turtleneck. And turtlenecks have been really big here lately too. Turtlenecks and button down shirts with collars because you can pair them under dresses. Uh, B. Jones style. Her name is Beth Jones, the YouTuber I said I was watching. I saw her, one, um, she put a formal, it's like a little formal dress, kind of short, I think it was red, sleeveless, and she pairs t-shirts under them. And then I've seen her pair spaghetti strap shirts with like turtlenecks and stuff. So um, it's a way to continue wearing those things without having to have some, somewhere formal to wear them. So you can dress them down by putting turtlenecks and t-shirts under them and um, still be able to wear them, which, and it just looks cool as well. So she actually had jeans on, the formal dress, a little white t-shirt under it, and sneakers, which it just looked really cool. So um, I wore one like that one time and somebody looked at me funny here because of my area. I don't know, I, I don't know, but it just kind of stands out where I live, but that's okay, I'm okay with that, but um, I just thought it was a cool style. I'm gonna continue to do that. So. Uh, this next one, once again, is Tommy Hilfiger, size medium. It is yellow. And I have a Tommy Hilfiger jean jacket that I'm going to wear this under. So, um, it's got a little button detail there on the collar. Cute little v-neck. And I just think it's really cute. It's pretty. Um, yeah. So, I was looking once again to see if the logo was anywhere on it. I always kind of look for that to see if it's the little call it a flag it looks like a flag um, is usually on the sleeve most of the time okay this one is Croft and Barrow 
or Croft and Barrow in its petite medium. Okay, so let's talk about petites because I've mentioned this several times, but do not be afraid of petites. If you think, oh, I'm not a petite, try it on anyway. Because when you go like to thrift stores and stuff, you will find a lot of petites, but they fit. They fit the same as others. So unless you're, the only time it would really matter is if you're like so, so super tall. So I'm 5'7". I'm considered average, I think, and I can wear petites. So the only time it really matters is if your torso is, is if you're just so tall that it becomes a belly shirt for you because the rest of the shirt is going to fit like normal. I never have any problems out of them. Don't be afraid of petites. You can, you can shop more and wear more and have more stuff if you use the petites as well. So just filling you in there. Just try them on. See what you think. But I have always worn them. I can't tell a difference. So this is a medium petite. And you can see here, it, you just, you're not going to really tell much of a difference. So don't be afraid of petites. Because um, they fit pretty much the same. Unless it's pants. Pants are a different story because they're shorter. So, although the high water pants are in style this year. So you may want to shop in petite pants if you need some high waters. <laughs> so, but this one is so soft. It's almost got like a suede feel to it. It's got this detail. I don't know if you can see it. Like this, can you see that detail right there? It's like a little paisley detail, but um, it's just got this really soft suede feeling in the neutral color of it. It's kind of an off-white. That's the reason why I picked it up because kind of a, just a neutral look. Okay, this one may be really big. I'm not sure, but I haven't tried it on yet. It is an extra large, but it is Tommy Hilfiger. And so I just hit the jackpot of Tommy Hilfiger this, this thrift haul and the last one I was really excited because I think I found like total, like maybe eight pieces. So it's just really cool. I'm really excited about it. So I almost have a collection now. <laughs> but this is a little hoodie and it's tan and it's trimmed in orange. And you can see it's got these real wide sleeves. Underneath is like this fleece material, it's super soft. And it's got the orange trim on it. And it's got the orange trim at the bottom and got the little logo as well. So it is very, big so we will see how it goes but if it if it just doesn't fit me then my daughter um will probably want it but i'm gonna try it on anyway just to see because uh, i like it and i like that brand this is a tommy hill figure sweater and it is a size extra large as well but it's not as big as the other one um it's black it's kind of got a half turtleneck and it's got this red I don't really know what you call this, like cross design. Um, it is super warm. It is oversized, which is going to be okay because I'm just going to roll the sleeves up on it and it's going to be cozy. It's going to be great. So excited about that one. All my Tommy Hilfiger finds. <laughs> okay. This is funny. I didn't know there were so many of them, but I ended up buying two of the same jacket. So the other day, when I had gotten this thrift haul, I bought this one for me. It's Casual Corner, which we no longer have that store. I don't know if it's anywhere, but I know in Chattanooga we had it, but it was like 10 years ago and it left and I haven't seen it since. But I've been finding some of the clothing at the Goodwill. And this one is a size medium. And I picked it up because it's like this cool, like it's almost like a, I want to say sweater, but some type of knit. Um, it's but it's made like a blazer. It's got the little buttons down the front and it's got pockets And buttons on the sleeve and it's just made kind of like a blazer, but it's really warmer It's the material is warmer on it um, And so I picked it up because I'm like, oh I can pair that with a lot of things because it wouldn't hurt to have a black Jacket to throw on with stuff and then today when I went I found my daughter the exact same one. So I got the medium she got the large um, because she was also needing just something black to throw on over things. She has a black hoodie. It's American Eagle, and she loves that. But she needed something to wear more, like, to church or, like, over dresses or stuff, something. So we ended up with that same jacket. I didn't realize there were two, but there were. And so that worked out really well. <laughs> we'll just have to not wear them on the same day or something. Okay, this one is Carlisle. Car... 
Carlisle, size large. There's the brand, I've never heard of it. It was new. And look at these bold, and it is a geometric print. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm crossing over or what, but I liked the big colorful squares on the front of this. So we will see how, to, how I'm gonna end up pairing this up, but I just really liked those pops of color that were on the front. So I thought that was really cool looking. And I'm hoping that I can show you the rest of this because we're getting low here on video time. Tommy Hill figure, size large. This one does not fit like a large. I tried it on, it fits really well actually. It's just a little jean top. Um, and I'm actually gonna wear it over something. Probably another Tommy Hill figure shirt. Maybe that green and blue one. Um, but anyway, thought that was cute. I found, and I've been looking for colored jeans, so I did find um, this rust colored pair. It's The brand is called NYDJ, which is Not Your Daughter's Jeans, and it's a size six. And I'm kind of between sizes, so I could probably wear four in these. Um, the six fits as well too, but I pull them up a little bit during the day, but that's okay. But I hit the jackpot in these the other day. I bought, I had a green pair, a blue pair, and this is the rust colored pair. And I was so happy that I got some different colors because I've been wanting some colored jeans. Um, and then I got like three blue pairs, well, like like blue jean pair. So um, I'm excited about those because I was really honestly having a hard time finding jeans. I will tell you my favorite one, I do like these pretty well. My favorite jean right now is Gloria Vanderbilt. I find them at the Goodwill. I'm not really sure where the brand is from. It might be Belk. I love the way Gloria Vanderbilt jeans fit. I just, I love them. Um, I wear a size four in them and they just fit really well. They fit in all the right places. Um, so I'm really excited about those. So I've been looking for those because I've kind of been on a, trying to find jeans that fit right search for a while now and those just fit really well. Okay, this one is Tommy Hilfiger as well, size large, and it's just a navy blue polo with long sleeves, and it has its little logo right there on the front. So, just kind of a basic. I think it's super cute. And this last one, oh, I loved this one. This is Kim Rogers Medium, and it's kind of a holiday shirt, I guess. It's got a giraffe on it, but look how cute. It's got some sequins. It's a peach with the red giraffe, red sequins. It's got some, a, like a leaf pattern and some more sequins. And I just thought this was really cute. I like the peach and red together. Um, I generally do pair those two, two colors together anyway. So I was like, hey, this, this is really cute. So grab that one up and that is it for this thrift haul. I hope you're inspired about some things that you can find at the Goodwill or at other thrift shops. Just go check them out and um, just have fun. Don't be in a hurry when you go. Take your time, go down each rack um, and just see what you find and see what you can put together. It's, it's lots and lots of fun and you end up with really cool stuff. And I hope this was inspiring. And I'm going to read you just a couple scriptures. Hopefully my, my time says we're at 38 minutes right now. Hopefully it won't run out before I'm done. Um, but let's get started just in case. Um, these I just wanted to read to you because I thought of them because it's nighttime. Um, it's actually like 1130. And um, it'll be time for sleep soon, if not already. And so these scriptures pertain to your sleep. So... Um, this one says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalms 4, 8. And the other one is, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs three twenty four. So I just want to leave you with those two scriptures. So Psalms 4, 8, Proverbs three twenty four. Look them up. If you're having trouble sleeping, if you just can't rest at night, quote these scriptures say these scriptures, write them down or look them up. You can write them down so you can just hold the paper in, you know, while you're laying there in bed and you can read over these 
get them in your mind and meditate on them and your sleep will turn out much, much better. Um, because it says that he's going to protect you while you sleep and it says that when you lie down you're not going to be afraid but you're going to have sweet sleep. And I want sweet sleep when I lie down. So these scriptures are really good for that. And with that, I'm going to leave you because my time on my phone is about to run out. I can already tell. And the picture, I apologize for the fuzzy pictures. I'm using a J3, I think it's J3 phone from Verizon. It's old, but I'm still using it um, for a while and it's going to be okay. So just pretend like it's a vintage video. That way the fuzziness is okay. It looks like old TV, right? Old style TV. <laughs> so anyways, thank you and God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time. I think my next video is going to be some outfits. I've been kind of pairing up some outfits and I think I'm just going to put um, each one, like each video together of each outfit. So we'll see how that goes. But until next time, um, God bless you and I will see you then. Bye.